The other victory for the Patriots last night came from the timing of the leak of the Cam Newton contract because I, I personally think what was going on, the Patriots knew that the NFL was going to leak and then announce the penalties from last year's Spygate 3. I don't know how many Spygates there have been. It's like Rocky movies. Last year's incident where while a camera crew was at a Browns-Bengals game, ostensibly doing a feature on one of the team's scouts, there was recording of the Bengals' sideline just a week before the Patriots were due to play the Bengals. Now, I still have yet to see anything suggesting that the Patriots football operations staff had anything to do with this, that there were any connections. Remember, I said from the get-go, investigate this to determine whether or not there's any connection between this video crew and football operations. And if you can't prove it, then it's just an innocent mistake. And you know what? It may have been a much smaller penalty if it had been an innocent mistake that had been committed by anyone else. But these are the Patriots, and thanks to Spygate 1. Spygate 2, which never went anywhere. Deflategate, that history of, of violations resulted in the seven-figure fine and the loss of a third-round draft pick. It's a big deal to lose a third-round draft pick. It's a big deal to lose any draft pick. So that was significant, but because it was the chaser to the Cam Newton news, it got far less play than it ever would have gotten, making the Cam Newton move even more brilliant and making me wonder at some warped level whether or not they really don't want Cam Newton. <laughs> it was just elaborate PR cover for the, the long delayed resolution to something that happened more than six months ago. And I never thought they were going to resolve that one, but resolve it they did. And, you know, they did him a little bit of a favor by holding it until after the 2020 draft by all respects, this should have been done before the draft. That third round pick 2021, worth less than a third round pick in 2020, especially when we consider that if there's no college football season or if they delay it or whatever, it's going to be harder potentially to scout guys next year. Those draft picks may not be as valuable, maybe more of a crapshoot next year than it typically is. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.